Hi boys and girls, I'm the reading teacher. Do you like my new fuzzy warm vest? It's so cozy and I thought it was the perfect vest to wear today because the book that I'm gonna share with you is gonna make you feel cozy inside. It's called The Wish Tree and it's written by Kyle McClear and illustrated by Chris Turnham. The Wish Tree. Is there such a thing as a wish tree? Could you plant a wish tree in your backyard or find a wish tree at the Arboretum? By the way, if there was a wish tree though, wouldn't that be cool? Charles wanted to find a wish tree. His brother said, there's no such thing. His sister said, there's no such thing. But Charles said, what do you think, Boggin? And Boggin thought, surely there was such a thing. Oh, here's his little sled. This kind of a sled is called a toboggan and Charles calls his sled Boggin. So the next morning, Charles and Boggin set forth. His brother said, bring a map. His sister said, don't forget a compass. But Charles and Boggin were already well on their way into the woods. La dee da dee da dee da, sang Charles. Whoosh, sang Boggin. They had the whole day ahead of them, the whole day to find a wish tree. Up, up to the top of a hill they climbed, and down, down to a frosty meadow they slid. Where Charles went, Boggin followed. Where Boggin went, Charles followed. Charles and Boggin did not see the wish tree, but they did see Squirrel, who was puzzling over how to get some hazelnuts to his home. Hold on tight. la dee da dee da dee da sang Charles. Whoosh, sang Boggin. So long, Squirrel. Good thing Charles came along to help Squirrel. Slow, slow through the snow they went and hush, hush past Bear's den they crept. Where Charles and Boggin, where Charles went, Boggin followed. Where Boggin went, Charles followed. They did not see a wish tree anywhere but they did see, what do you think they're gonna see? Beaver, who was busy gathering birch wood to bring to his lodge. la dee da dee da dee da sang Charles. Whoosh, said Boggin. Let's go. Bye-bye, Beaver. Wow, it's a good thing Charles was here to help Beaver. Slide, glide, across the ice they slipped, past a few logs and around a bend. Where Charles went, Boggin followed. Where Boggin went, Charles followed. The wish tree was nowhere to be found, but they did find... Fox, who was late getting berries to her burrow. Load them up! la dee da dee da dee da sang Charles. Whoosh, sang Boggin. Keep warm, Fox. Good thing Charles was around to help Fox. Now they had less than half the day ahead of them, less than half the day to find a wish tree. We may need to move a little faster, Boggin, said Charles. Look at all the animals that they're helping. What do you think these are? Looks like little mushrooms. I didn't know mice needed mushrooms. Charles and Boggin were moving very slowly now. Their shadows were growing longer. The whole day was almost behind them. Boggin, 
Charles said. I am tired. I cannot search any longer. And do you notice that the author put periods after all these words? It's to make you understand that he is so tired he can't even form a sentence. I cannot search any longer. Shh, whispered Boggin. Boggin's carrying him. Look, all the animals that he helped are going to help bring him back home. When Charles awoke, it was snowing. It was snowing on squirrel, and it was snowing on beaver, and it was snowing on fox, and it was snowing on everyone. For a moment, Charles could not see through the falling snow, but then he said, Oh, look! What do you think he found? See, Boggin, said Charles, just as we thought. And Boggin said, Whoosh. Charles wrote his wish on a piece of paper and tied it around a branch of the wish tree. The snow was falling more gently now. The animals had prepared a night feast with hazelnut souffle, a pot of birch tea, and biscuits made of berries. Charles and Boggin celebrated with their friends until it was time to be on their way. Oh, isn't this a beautiful illustration of friendship? The moon was glowing brightly. La di da di da di da, sang Charles. Whoosh, sang Boggin all the way home. And that is the end of the wish tree. What do you think his wish was? It never tells us what Charles wished for, but he put his wish on the wish tree. And how did that wish tree get there? Hmm. The author doesn't tell us those things. Those are some things that the reader needs to think about. I'm so glad I got to share this cozy story with you boys and girls. I wish you a holiday filled with friendships and magic.